It has long been a standing in the Vigor community that Vigor servers are garbage, and that it is one of the prime downsides of the game. However, the devs have seemingly responded to these statements, not only with many updates to stabilize and upgrade these servers, but also the addition of a setting that allows us to track our average latency. So I asked the community to submit data of their region, their latency, and their platform in order to figure out how good are the Vigor servers. And the result of that inquiry will be to focus of today's video. Before we really get into this, there's one thing I'd like to clarify first. This poll and data collection did not count in Vigor server stability, a matter which I intend on covering in a separate video. So this video will instead focus on the average server strength, removing the spikes of latency. This is an accurate portrayal of servers though, because whatever your average strength is, is what you would be having for the majority of your playtime. So what have we learned? Well first, servers factually get worse as we approach the end of the season. In the middle of the season, when all this data was gathered, the setting was averaging around 40 to 60 ping. However, by the end of the season, my current games now average around 100 to 120 ping, proving what many had believed was happening in the past. Now we can also add to this fact the known fact that your server latency depends greatly on how close you are to the server in which you are connecting to. This can be seen on the data we gathered as players from Oceana had far higher off-server latency than the server latency of the USA or Europe players when they were off-servers. So if you're someone who lives in a region that is pretty far away from other regions, then playing off-server is even more of a hassle to you than it would be to some of your other players. And this problem gets compounded by the fact that it is usually these regions which have lower player counts. To give an example, if you're an Australian player playing late at night in Australia, then you'd be connecting to either American or European servers and getting quite high ping. All of this is generally known and logical information, but to apply it to Vigor, it could account to the end of season latency that we observe, as perhaps there are less players in your region playing, forcing you to play at longer distances. And this would be a conclusion backed by the fact that the off-server latency is usually around the same numbers as the late season latency numbers, and the fact that sometimes during late season, as you can see from this footage, you can average much lower numbers than, you know, would be expected for late season. The next conclusion we can make is that the data generally shows that no one platform servers are universally better than the others. This makes sense with Xbox and Switch, seeing as they use the same servers, however it also holds true for the PlayStation. This is specifically proven in France, where two players reported the same latency despite being on Switch and PlayStation. However, to call back to my earlier statement, if you are on PlayStation, you do not have Switch or Xbox players, meaning you may have to queue off-server more often than your other console counterparts. Following that, we have a slightly obvious one. Docked Switch has better latency. I figured it was true, but I also figured I should just mention it in case anyone was curious. Alright, from here, we will now be going from general conclusions from the data to specific data of each region. To start, we have the Northeast USA. This region has a server status on average of 45 to 60 ping during mid-season, and this changes to 100 and 120 ping if you are off server or in late season. Next we have New Zealand, which has an average ping of 40 to 70, and an off server dash late season average of 70 to 150. Following that, we have Latin America, which has an average of 158 ping. Then we have Serbia, which has an average ping of 70 to 80. Then Great Britain, which has a 50 ping on average, and then a 120 to 130 off-season dash late season. And to bring up the rear here, we have France and Belgium, which have a 50 to 56 ping on average. Hopefully you guys enjoyed all this data, and hopefully it helped you understand how the Vigor servers work. Also, if you'd like to continue to submit data regarding your server connection, feel free to leave a comment on this video. Finally, before I finish, I would like to say, if you want to join a Vigor community, VSL, which is my community, and VSH, which is its French counterpart, are both linked in the description below.
Both are pretty chill, and we would love to have you. Until next time, though, this has been Christopher Beast, and I really hope to see you all next time.